Hello everybody and welcome back to Story of Seasons. It's a wonderful life. Uh, well, doesn't it sound like a rainy old day today? Wow. So if I look on the weather forecast... Oh no, this is Summer's Love Finale, my major debut. Ace, the popular new transfer student, led me to a clubhouse where his band plays and he wants me to be the lead singer? Oh yes. I knew it had to be you the moment we met. I mean, yeah, you've got an attitude, but your voice is one in a million. No, maybe one in a billion. With you as our lead, we could make our major debut. All our dreams would come true. Please, Summer. He's so eager. He really believes in me. Well, come on, what do you say? Sorry, but I can't carry a tune to save my life. And I'm failing music class. What? The tension in the room could be cut with a knife. Can you at least try to sing for us? Okay, but I warned you. And ten minutes later, I'm outside of the clubhouse. Alone. On the other side of the door, I can hear the band members arguing. What was that? Seriously, what was that? You should have heard her sing before you brought her here, Ace. Don't just pick a girl at random. And that's that. My one chance at summer love ruined in a single week. The end. <laughs> that was actually quite funny. Right, let's have a look at the weather. Uh, typhoon heads east. Third to rainfall for a few more hours. Okay. Luck isn't great. Oh, it's not a good day today. Milk quality. Uh, I feel like the flavour of milk changes sometimes. Am I just imagining it? Aha, I should have expected as much from our snack connoisseur. It's not just you, my friend. It really does happen. Whoa, so the flavour does change? Yep, the happier the cow, the creamier and more delicious the milk. Wow, glad I wasn't imagining things. In that case, I have another question. Do calves drink milk the same as us? They need way more nutrients to grow bigger and strong, don't they? Wow. You're knocking out of the park today, Avery. Mother cows produce special nutrient-rich milk right after they give birth. I knew it. Mother's milk is produced up to three days after a cow gives birth. It's packed with all the nutrients a growing calf needs. Whoa, that sounds important. As much as we all love drinking milk, mother's milk is vital to a growing calf, so it can't be sold. Huh. So the milk we drink and the milk cows drink are different. I kind of want to try it at least once. Well, it's not impossible. I guess you could ask a farmer for some. Really? That'd be cool. I'll have to ask next time I'm on a farm. Ever the gourmand, huh, Avery? That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to the dairy, sorry, Daily Dairy. Right, okay. The amount of times I try to say Daily Diary as well. Let us go and say hello to all our animals. Poor little Lathea, stuck there. Stuck there inside. We're gonna get a sheep today, I believe. Hi! Right, it's very rainy today, so we're going to milk you. Faith, there we are. We're gonna brush you. Talk to you. Faith is pretty energetic today. Do a little brush. Do a little brush. There we are. And then get you some food. I always take out two. Try and fill the two things, and then and then I'm I'm terrible. I I should put away the ones that are stuck in my inventory for some reason. So Faith, I'm afraid we can't go out today, which really sucks. I know. I'm gonna go check on the chickens now. In fact, I am also gonna check on Faith's love for me. Are we still? Oh no, we're back down to six. We were up at seven. It must be really hard to keep her up at a high level then. Hmm. Maybe I need to be brushing twice a day or something. Well, we'll work on that. It definitely was up to seven hearts at one point. Maybe I left her out in the rain too much or something like that. Trist is doing fine. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Pop you down. Pick you up. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Pop you down. 
Thank you for the egg today. Okay, wonderful. Um, so we've got some milk I can sell, or I can, I don't know, I can try and uh, make it into food or something, or milky soup, and then sell that on to Van, possibly. I'm never sure what to do, actually, with that. Okay, we're on the 10th day of spring, so if the potatoes are not done now, which they actually are, Whoa, that was skin of the teeth territory, wasn't it? Wow. I was just going to say, if the potatoes are not done now, then uh, we will not get potatoes. But, we did get potatoes and watermelons today. So that means um, that I can plant some summer crops tomorrow. I think that might be the way to go, actually, is to just not try and plant anything today. I've got loads of tomatoes already planted, and I've got, I think, a few watermelons over here as well. So I'm going to maybe just leave it until tomorrow, or just buy some seeds today, even. Do I have, like, um, storage here that I can... Is that my... I've got storage and food storage. Oh, okay, so that's like a fridge, is it? So I can put, like, my... Actually, no, I need my fish. I need my fish to give away, but my tomatoes, potatoes. Eggs and milk I'm always going to get more of because I have the, the animals there. So I feel like things like aromatic herbs and veggies and things should go in food storage. I don't think anything rots in this game, which is quite nice. That's why I'm kind of keeping everything. I could sell some stuff or I could just keep it for gifting right I'm gonna go see my little impy friends and then I might go and buy a few seeds ready for the uh, the new season that's coming up and we will get a sheep today as well which will be wonderful the other thing I really need to try and do is to head out of the, the valley also, I need to do more dig site stuff. I've been terrible at doing that. I've always just had too much other stuff to do. But on a rainy day like today, that would be the ideal day time to do it, really, wouldn't it? Um, could give Pewee a fish. I have three fish, I think. And I'm sure he liked it before. So let's see if you like this. Hmm? Is that an item for Pewee? Yes. Help yourself. Hee <laughs> hee, you've made your friend very happy. Many, many thanks. I'm trying to keep on top of it. It seems like um, keeping up with happiness and sort of friendship is a bit harder in this game. It seems like it does go backwards quite a bit. Which isn't always the case in other games. So it seems to be a real focus of this one. Let's go see my my little sprighty friends. See what recipes they may have for me today. Who shall we have the recipe of today? Jack, I think we're going to have a recipe from you. Uh, humans were talking about it, so it's got to be good. Darn good soup. Ooh, well, it, yeah, maybe that is darn good. Sounds like fun. Okay. So now we have a choice. Do we go into the village and give away presents? Or do we try and dig for a few fossils and things? I'm thinking spend a few hours at the dig site. Because, like I say, we never come down here. And it seems like I can only have the shovel at certain times of day and things. So. <laughs> Greetings, G-Lab. How are things? Just the person I hope to see. Do you have some time to help us at the dig site today? Let's get started. Right, there's my shovel. So there's a, quite a few things here. Come on, do a dig. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, there we are. Hmm. That looked like it had something there. Found an old fossil. Nice.
The big problem with the dig site is how long it takes to get anything. So you have to dig them over and over and over again. The car just used to get in the way sometimes. Oh, we've got something. I probably want to dig here till about two. Found another old fossil. Nice. There's definitely something here, so let's grab that before we move on to anything else. Oi! Out my way! I found another old fossil! Well, maybe between all of them we'll find something of use. something here as well I do like that you find several things that is quite nice and also I like that you're doing archaeology rather than mining what did I find something peculiar what did I find a tablet with glyphs on it. Nice. Gonna go back to this spot here. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna dig this spot. And like I say, I'm gonna dig till about two o'clock, and then I'll run around giving out gifts. See, that might be a way to do it then. Is to do all my farm bits and bobs. But on a rainy day, come here for like two or three hours. Do a bit of digging. Also, I haven't even left the valley yet. I can go to other towns, apparently. Oh, there's something there now. I don't know if standing on it is a problem. I don't imagine people in archaeological digs generally stand on the stuff. Found something peculiar. Uh, one last hole, I think. Then I need to go see Daryl and Nina. And all my bachelors. Give them all presents if I can. I would like to try and be good friends with everybody if I can, but that doesn't always happen straight away and it doesn't always happen quickly in games like this. Especially, as I say, if if friendships do go backwards. The one good thing is that there aren't hundreds and hundreds of people. Found an old fossil. Okay, I think that is enough for today. There's only so much I can do. Oh, finished digging for the day, I take it. Yeah, all done for today. Very well then, shall we head outside? I think I found a tablet that might be useful. We'll see. Another productive day of digging for you, I hope. Allow me to examine what you found. My word, what's this? Something appears to be inscribed on it. Why, this could be a key to Forgotten Valley's ancient civilization. May I take it off your hands for the time being? Sure. There appears to be nothing else of archaeological value here, so ple feel, please feel free to keep the rest of your findings. Okay. That is all for today. I hope we can count on your continued assistance. Yes. Hey, Shilab! Takakura left a note in the living room if you want to take a look. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what it says. I brought you a new animal. Check the barn when you get a chance. Takakura. P.S. I left you some clippers. You'll need it to shear wool. Oh, yes! I got them for free. Thank you, Takakura. Perfect. I thought I'd have to get them off Van. What is the sheep's name? Well, I I got my... Uh, 
patrons up ahead of time. Let's see who we want to name the sheep after. It is a girly sheep, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Dun, 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 I think you are gonna be Mona the sheep. But not with a capital O. <laughs> Come on then, confirm. Thank you, Mona, for your continued and long-standing patron support. Okay, so... Let's uh, pop in and have a, a look and a little sort of... little pat, maybe? Mona looks healthy and content. Give Mona a snuggle. Nice. Give Mona a brush. Is my character hungry? Give Faith another brush. Maybe put some fodder in. There we are, that's really good, I think. Um, I don't understand why you don't love me anymore, though. Oh, nice, Mona starts at five hearts as a baby lamb. Nice. Maybe I needed to give you more. Maybe I need to give them more, like, um, fodder plus treats. It's about the only thing I can think. So Triss doesn't love me at all, and Amanda loves me a little bit. But those two are quite healthy, whereas the the cows and the sheep and stuff, not as healthy. But I've done about all I can do with them at the moment, unless... Actually, I'll check. No, Faith isn't ready to milk again yet. Okay, so now it is time to head into town. Shame I missed the sheep cutscene though. Would have liked to have seen that, but never mind. Matthew, I'm gonna give you some milk. Can't remember what sort of milk I got from you the other day, but it tasted pretty good. You're definitely improving. Oh, right, so he's actually liking the fact that it's better milk, I think. Which is pretty cool. Because it's A grade. I'm guessing that's from your farm. Are you sharing? Yeah. Wow, I mean, thanks. So that is amazing that he actually realized there was a difference between the B grade and the A grade milk. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. All right. So I'm going to go and see Daryl and then see if I can find Nina. Nina might be at home. Actually, I could have let the cows out by now, but it was raining so badly this morning. I should have let them out when I was there. Hey, 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 ha, ha, ha. Finally, finally the time has got... What are you up to now? I, I can understand why people said that I should make friends with this guy. Hmm? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Uh, what's going on? My current topic of research, solar energy. The secrets surrounding our very own sun simply beg for exploration. If I can harness the sun's boundless energy, I'll be able to power the whole valley, nay, the entire world. To perform such experiments, of course, I would need some form of storage units to contain said energy. Batteries? And da 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 da! It's a good thing I'm a genius so I could make those units myself. This here is the main apparatus of the solar power storage. It looks exactly like your last invention. Count yourself lucky, my friend, for you are going to be witness to a scientific miracle. <laughs> Convention operation in three, two, one, and here we go. Yes. Ha ha ha, yes, excelente. No fluctuations as the voltage increases as everything looks stable so far. I always look so... 
unimpressed. <laughs> I'm sure everything's fine. What's this? Something's not right. Oh, how electrifying. Ah, oh, that explains it. It seems the circuit breaker trip. Nothing a genius of my stature can't fix. In the meantime, my home power unit is back on the job. Mm. Seems I have a number of improvements yet to make before I can consider this a success. <sighs> so we had a lightning one and a solar one, and he trips the circuit breaker every time. Brilliant. Okay, who else are we going to see? Can, can I go nick those tomatoes? No. Ah, oh, man. It's not like uh, garden paws. You could steal everything in that game. It was amazing. Right. Let's go and see if Nina's in. Which I think she is today. Lovely. Hi. So nice to see you, dearie. Oh, it's you, dearie. Would you like a little tip from me? Do you know how to make marinade? I do. Oh, is that so? And here I was getting all excited to teach it to you. Ah, well. At least I hope. I hope, like, I didn't... Hmm. I hope I didn't, like, save on the wrong day or something. Hello, Sheila. Good to see you. I'm sure, I'm sure we already did... I got from you sure was tasty thanks a bunch well I'll soon see I'm gonna give Nina a flower and then I'm gonna go and look and make sure that I can make marinade at my as a recipe I'm sure I got it off the sprites last time and I got it off her as well of course I'm giving it to you why thank you that's ever so nice of you but also the fact that the cow went back a heart I'm sort of worried that <laughs> that I've missed a trick somewhere and I've saved something wrong or something so I'm just gonna very quickly, head back to my farm. We didn't give Daryl a fish, did we? Because we got a cutscene instead. I'm just going to make sure I can make marinade. Oh, yeah, of course, the, the sheep came today, so I can't have gone back a day. So I should be able to make marinade. Marinade a soup? No, is it a salad? Yes. That's okay, and apparently that's Gary's favourite, so at some point, when I can be bothered to make it and I've got enough ingredients that I can make it. <sighs> nice drink there. Um, once I've got enough ingredients to make it, I shall make it for Gary. Okie dokie then. I think I'm going to go back to Daryl's quickly and see if I can get in there and give him a present. And then tomorrow I guess we're going to get some new requests probably because it'll be the first day of summer tomorrow which will be wonderful. I don't know how I'm doing with my bachelors at the moment. The thing is, I don't have that much milk, and I, and I, oh, hmm, hmm, how did this happen? Hmm, hmm, how could this be? What's going on now? It's not right, not logical, not possible. All my research secrets have been expertly hidden from the public eye. How in the name of science did they get such sensitive information? Grr. Oh no, okay. Hmm? Oh, it's you, you absolute fool. Don't startle me like that. I was almost certain you were a spy, eager to steal my precious secrets. What's going on? Someone steal your secrets? Listen to this. Those charlatans in the, in the city have started selling imitations of the seed maker I invented. Oh, no. Someone stole my idea. I'm absolutely certain of it. Doesn't it break your heart? I must do something to show the world that mine is the superior seed maker. But what? 
Oh, oh, I know. I'll give you the one I invented. If you use the real seed maker, then you'll demonstrate to the world just how much better it is. Wahoo! If that's settled, then I'll begin the installation right away. I'm getting a seed maker from him. No wonder people told me to give him fish. Ahem, my work here is done. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going back to the lab. There's a tremendous amount of research to be done. Feel free to use my genius invention to your little heart's content. <gasps> that's amazing! I am so happy! Where, where did he put it? Here? No. Here. Let's have a look at it, shall we? So... So if I take out, like... Um... Well, I can still grow watermelons and tomatoes. Although tomatoes might be my better bet. So let's take out a couple of tomatoes. See if I can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like I can put those in. Yeah. Oh, I see. So it's going to take them a bit of time. Nineteen hours, and then they will be made into tomato seeds, and we'll see how many we get. That will be a few that I can plant tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to want to maybe start planting some of the summer crops because a lot of it's going to be about making meals and things for people. Okay, so I think I could do a second milking. I think I have to wait uh, for my sheep. Mona is energetic today. Give you a snuggle. Snuggle did nothing. Okay, that's fine. None of the chat's faith. Um, unfortunately, Faith is asleep. Okay, I think Faith just woke up. So I use the milker and the brush. In summertime, I'll have less milk, so... Give you another brush. You liked that, I think. Okay, um... How many milks do I have now? Seven. I think I'll sell all my milks today because, uh... Because I can. <laughs> and my egg. Reason being... Uh, so 975. That's not a bad amount of money to make in a day, is it, at all? That's really good. Especially considering I didn't have to sell any of my crops. And then come autumn time, I'm going to have things off those trees as well, which would be really cool. So, yeah, very, very happy with that. I think it might be bedtime, though, now. Although, I'm... oh yeah, there's something in here as well. What have we got? Hey, we found the lost remnant, which means you discovered the first t stone tablet. You found five of the wonders so far. Hey, hey, we found funny little farm, which means you got an additional farm facility. You found six wonders so far. I got two wonders today. That's amazing. 1,400 profits. Can I get any more animals with that so far? I wonder if I should get facilities though, like, maybe I should get the pond. Or a fertilizer maker. Recycle old items into fertilizer for your crops. Barn and coop upgrades, fertilizer spreaders. There's not like tons and tons of stuff though. Animal wise, I could get another cow once I get to 2500, so I could probably do that in a day. Oh, it's 5000 for like not a bull. So I could save myself a huge amount of money by getting a, a bull, waiting for a few days, and then starting to breed it with the cows. Also, the cows. Like, for example, Faith is going to run out of, like, the 
the milk for a while. But maybe I want to have two cows first so that I can have one breeding cow and one getting me milk. So it is a bit of a bit of a choice that one. Bit of a choice. And I I wonder with like the star cows and things, if you breed them. Anyway, I need to go to bed. Um if you breed them with a bull, will you get another star cow? It will be an interesting one. A fluffy feather bed. I would like to sleep in it. Yes. I still forgot to give Daryl a fish. He kept giving me cutscenes. What am I supposed to do? Heart. Hey, Shelab, come over. Okay. Hey, back off, Jack. It's mine. Nah, you said you didn't need it, Ace. She needs to have been at it for a while now. I don't know what to do. We've got to stop them somehow. Yeah, well, I was the one who found it. Find those keepers. Lose those diapers. <laughs> Well, you said you didn't need it, so you gave it to me. Only because I didn't know I found a blue feather. All right, you two, enough. If you give a blue feather to someone you love, something wonderful is supposed to happen. But it won't ever happen if you two keep it for yourselves. I'm going to give it to Sheila. Thank you, heart, a sensible boy. Hey, I put it in the box at the front of her house so she doesn't lose it. Oh, come on! That's not fair! I got a blue feather. Okie dokie, all set! I love them so much. Hey, Sheila! Do you get to be with the person you love all the time? No. You don't? That's so sad. The three of us are always together. That's what makes us so happy. I wanted to spread the joy by giving you that blue feather. Yeah, me too. That is so cute. Oh, and me. I gave it first. No, I did. Oh, would you to knock it off already? That's so cute. Takakura, hey kid. I was checking around the front of your house and noticed a blue feather lying around there. Those are awfully rare. Where the heck did you manage to snag one? Back in the old days, folks would give a blue feather to the person they loved to propose marriage. According to the folk tales, if you propose with one of those things, you'll be happy for the rest of your lives. I've seen them sold in the city, but they cost a fortune. To think you find one in Forgotten Valley. Lady Luck's looking out for you, kid. Okay. It is summer. Thankfully, my potatoes got ripe just before. Low pressure system, cloudy skies. Okay, that's fine. We should still be able to let the chickens and everything outside. Milk quality. We already did milk quality. Your luck today is good and drink coffee for extra energy and the elderly might bring you happiness. Howdy, Anglerinos. Once again, we've asked Skyloft from Dewdrop Village to give us a fishing report. What's biting out there today, buddy? Skyla, Skyla. Oh, sorry about that. I must have dozed off. Someone sure is taking things easy out there. But I digress. How did the fishing go? Well, I gave up fishing in the river and hit up the lake on the mountaintop instead. And how'd that go for you? Too easy. Piece of cake for someone of my skill. No bears or monkeys either. I got rainbow trout, brown trout, sockeye salmon. Even snagged myself a wagasaki or three. Sounds great. Glad things were better for you this time. We'll be counting on you. Oh, by the way, did my dad say anything cool about my rad fishing skills? No, no, he did not. Hey, looks like that's all the time we have. Thank you, dear audience, for tuning in. So I think I'll need to use bait or like a better fishing rod or something to get to get stuff happening with that. But okay, and it is the first day of summer, and it looks like all that rain like really did sort of make keep everything watered well so that's really cool I'm going to go and snuggle my chickens and then let them outside hello snuggly chickens Trist is pretty energetic today when are we gonna get fertilized eggs and baby chickens then Amanda is doing fine 
Do they love me? How much do they love me? The barn is still six and five, and there's still one and two in here. They really need to go outside. That's how they get to be happier and love me more and all that sort of thing. So let's get them out. And then let's go and get the cow and sheep sorted. Okay, give me a snuggle. I'm gonna talk to you. Mona is pretty energetic today. And I'm gonna brush you. I'm gonna brush you. <laughs> gonna milk you. Now then, I'll be interested to see uh, what the reduction on milk is for the summer. Was that just three? I think that might have just been three, so you get one less. Um, I will fill up all the fodder. I'm going to let them outside first, I think. I'm assuming that they eat outside then. I don't know if the grass dies off in the winter, whether I need to sort of scythe that all down. But we shall see. Uh, confirm. Oh, I probably need to put three. I know, I, I shouldn't need more than two, right? Because I only have two animals. No, let's just take a third one in case. I don't want them to be hungry. Right. Off we go. So this grass is spreading really nicely now. Which is quite wonderful. Having let them out to pasture, I wonder what would happen to any eggs that I would get. I don't know. But I should be able to pick up my blue feather, hopefully. Oh look, my trees are flowering. So they're going to be ready uh, very soon. I got my blue feather. I'm gonna put that into storage for now. Along with my clay figurines, I don't need those on me. My leaf fossils. Oh, I've still got some fodder plus. I'm gonna give that to Faith. I should have just jumped the fence. I forgot that they were outside. Still have some chicken feed. That's good. I should always have one chicken feed at least in my inventory. Faith is doing well. Do you want that? Maybe I can only give it to her in the barn. That is entirely possible. Oh no, show. There we are. You want that? Yeah. Yum yum. Amanda is doing fine. That egg is pink. Um, Amanda, can I just grab that egg, please? I'm just doing well. Set you down over there. I'm just gonna take this egg. Ooh, yes. That is a fertilized egg. I thought it looked different. So a fertilized egg, I'm going to see if I can put that in the incubator. The egg will hatch in a few days. So this is the point of having Trist, is that I now basically get free chickens. Now if the chicken comes out male, I may need to sell it. If it comes out female, then hopefully I'll be able to just get eggs from it. That is wonderful that they've already started breeding. That's fantastic. And I've got a cow, a sheep, and two chickens, and a third one on the way already. That's amazing. Oh, other thing I need to do this morning? Check on my seed maker. Let's see how that's doing. And I need to say hello to Lithea, because Lithea 
We haven't done much lately, have we? No, we haven't. You're in a good mood though, so that's good. I'm gonna train you. We've got three quarters of a spin nowadays. Okay, and that's enough for now. Now look at the seed maker. Not quite there yet, so we've got another four hours, so that will be ready at about three o'clock. Cool, so we did all of the stuff with our animals. Trees are doing great. Uh, we can pick the aromatic herb. Those have all been watered recently enough anyway. Hey kid, I bought you a new animal. Come on over. What new animal? The horse you ordered is here. Hey, just messing with you. I'm the one who ordered it. You know what? Let's make a guessing game out of this. What colour horse do you think I got you? White. Hey, that's right. Nice guess. Now enough suspense. Let's introduce you to. I'm guessing that was a colour pick. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. This horse is going to need a name, so think of something good. Oh, and we'll need to decide where the extra feed bin is going to go. Ah, uh, okay, so we've got a bit of a... Um, a bit of a... Character limit. So, Kadashian was the next one due a name from the patron list. Yes, we can do Kadashian. Wonderful. And then... Confirm. Make sure I spelled it right. Yes. Thank you again for your long standing support. Place Feedman. Yes. Kardashian, huh? Nice choice. Take care of your new friend, alright? You're so cool. I have a horse now. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. So much stuff has happened this episode. My goodness me. Can I just ride you straight away or I'm snuggle you? Can I brush you? Yay, how much do you love me? How much do you love me? You love me five, the same as Mona does. Okay, that's not so bad. Oh, Faith's health is nearly up to full now. That's fantastic. Mona's health is still at half, and the horse's health is still at half. So they start at half health. Which is a bit of an odd one, but never mind. Okay, for today then. I'll take out some fodder and I'll give that to you. Just in case, that's just there. Oh. Can I put in, please? Apparently not. The problem is, I'm going to have to put them away to put the horse out to pasture. It's a bit annoying, but never mind. Back into the barn. And then let them out. And hopefully, horsey pants will go outside. Kardashian is outside. And I can ride you. Shall we do it? Can you, you can, oh, you, you can jump. How did you get out of the pasture? The chickens got out. That's alright though. That's super cool. Let's go and see people. Oh, let's also check on, uh, buy more seeds and check on the quests. Um, so, turnips for Matthew. And pickles, quick pickles. 
Um, if anyone has any quick pickles to spare, aren't Romana says they're quite good, so I'd like to try them. You added the information to your request list. I don't know how to make quick pickles, but, um... Hey! Gustava! Come back with the Kardashian here! Hey there, friend. Forgotten Valley is usually a cool place to live, but this heat, forget about it. He doesn't like the warm weather. Have a goddess drop. Hey, that looks nice. Is it for me? Yeah. Whoa, seriously? I owe you one. Okay. So, I need to, um... Make the most of today? It's way too hot. We've got to hit the beach. What would you like? Do you like a fish? I'm gonna see if he likes fish because I think I think he does. Fish? Yeah, I don't really love or hate them, but I'm not gonna say no if Mark hooks one up. Okay. So fish is a no-go then. Flower. Oh, that looks sick. Okay, yeah, flowers are definitely a one for rock. Yeah, thanks, bud. You just made my life. I love the stuff. So flowers for rock and Gustafa, and then like. Uh, milk for Matthew and Gordy. And in fact, here's Matthew, so... What? I'm here... No, I'm not here about you. I'm just here to chat. Hey, I'm guessing that's from your farm. What are you sharing? All yours. Wow, I mean, thanks. Okay, so put those away. Um, and then I want to go... Over to Vesta's place and buy some summer crop seeds like turnips and stuff. So we'll see. I'm not sure which building it is to to buy. Hey, hey welcome! A long time ago, I owned a farm much closer to the city. La la la. We've had that one. <laughs> I would love to buy something today. Take your pick. Strawberries will grow autumn to spring, so that's terrible until next season. Summer to autumn for melon seeds, so they'd be good for now. Turnip seeds would also be good for now. Potato seeds would be terrible. Autumn to winter for carrots. Only in autumn for sweet potato. Flowering in spring, fruiting in summer, so we need to get those growing around win uh, autumn or winter time. So we'll get a peach tree, an orange tree, and a grape tree in. No, we've done a grape tree, sorry. And a banana tree. So all those ones. Higher quality crops spreading some on the pasture will help it grow into tall trees. It might be useful to get some fertilizer as well, actually. Even if we just put that on the pasture. 100 gold, that's fine. That's like one milk for five of those. Um, no, not yet. I would like to also buy nine turnip seeds. Yeah, that's fine. Not yet. Then I would like to also buy it was only melon seeds, really. It was the summer summer crops are melon, melon and turnip, but also watermelon and tomato will still grow. But watermelon's going to be a bit dicey, so I'll probably just um, grab the watermelons I've already got. So melon seeds, and I want nine of those. That might be a little pricey. I'll do for now and then um, I've got a plot of each and then if I keep some of each of my produce then next year I just put it all through the seed maker and hopefully that will be like free crops for life then once I've got a, a, a sample of everything kind of thing okay um, and so turnips are going to be my thing for Matthew Oh, is eating, so we won't worry about that too much. What's in the box today? 
Hey, hey, we found soft backs and wavy tails, which means you obtained a total of three animals. You found seven of the wonders so far. Awesome. And I made 975 profit. Which is rather wonderful. And I've got tomatoes ready. I think I am right to not sell too much of my crop. Put it away in the food storage, in my fridge, basically. Put it in my fridge. I am hoping that the fridge connects to the cooking station. But we shall see. And I, I'm wanting to see as well today how many seeds I get. So each tomato gives me two tomato seeds. Wonderful, so we're doubling. Nice, that's not too bad at all. Alright, so... Four of those. Uh, nine melon seeds. And then I'll see how much space I've got left at the end and I'll uh, make some more tomato seeds maybe. Just fill the plot up with them. Now I've done my experiment and I know how many I get. Watermelons, I'm just going to leave the ones I've got. And I know it's a, ta it's a tad messy, my field. It's not exactly like beautiful squares of nine of each thing, but uh, hey, you can't have it all. I do wonder whether I should do more turnips. How many did how many did uh, Doofa want? Did Matthew want Doofa? <laughs> oh wow, I'm not very full, am I? I could do with a a snack. Oh, he only wants one, and he'll give me two B-grade milks for that, and that will sell for a couple of hundred. Um, I'll get five melons used to doing quick pickles. All right, let me go and see. I, I definitely... It's supposed to give you the recipe, I think, if... If you pick up a quest. It definitely gave me the recipe for milky soup anyway. I don't know. Maybe I already have quick pickles. I do. Right, so required one turnip. Okay, so I'm going to need two turnips once the turnips are ready. And that is fine. Can I make myself anything? I could make herbal soup. Or I could make a fish stew. Or a darn good soup. I can make a darn good soup. Maybe I can eat that because like, my character is saying they're hungry. What's going on? Everything's going on today. My goodness me. Best, best and Cecilia. Hi there, Sheila. Sorry for the sudden visit, but we had some leftover crops after the harvest. We wanted to share some with you. If any of them are turnips, that'd be amazing. You have fields on your farm too, right? Raising crops is wonderful. I've never done anything more rewarding or fun, but it definitely challenges you to do your best. Is there anything you're having trouble with? If you have any questions along the way, don't be afraid to ask. I'll do my best to help. Hee hee, it's no trouble at all. I'm just happy there's another person around who shares my passion for crops. I hope you and I can be good friends. You said it, Cece. Helping our neighbours is what we do best. Hey there, Sheila. Ah, I must have lost track of time. We started chatting about the farm. It's fine, it's fine, no worries. Cece hasn't had too many other folks she can talk shop with, so to speak. But now you're here. When she heard you were coming to the valley, she was thrilled, bursting at the seams to meet you, really. Besta? Whoops, might have said a bit too much. Still, I hope you and Cece get to be like two peas in a pod. 
That's too cute. I'm so glad she lab. I'm sure the two of you have lots you want to talk about, but don't want to overstay our welcome now, do we? Oh, no, I suppose we shouldn't. We can talk again next time we're free, okay? Lester, is something wrong? Nah, just thinking is all. About she lab. You too? She seems like such a kind person. And I'm real glad she is, but how's about we keep us between us girls alright? Don't go telling Matt too much. What? Why not? Uh, how do I put this? He's a little overprotective of you. I want to make sure he can be pals with Sheila too, so let's not give him any reason to be suspicious of our new neighbour. Oh. That's so cute. Yes, I understand. That's adorable. Don't worry, Matt. I'm not going to make a play for for Cecilia. I'm more likely to make a play for you, to be honest. Right, so they said they were going to leave me some vegetables. Did they? There's nothing in my delivery box. Is there anything in my inventory? No. Did they put anything in my fridge? No. Well then. I still haven't planted my turnips apparently. Well that'd be the next thing to do then, wouldn't it? I'm just waiting for these crops to all dry out, so yeah, this little section at the back would be good for some turnips, I think. I try not to be too worried on like um, a first of a, a season. I do need to check for any festivals as well. Um, but on the first day of a season, I don't ever worry too much about like friendships and digging things up and stuff. It's all about the farming really, isn't it? But my goodness, this has been a full day getting a horse and everything. My goodness me. Pretty pleased with that. Um, wondering if I should put more tomatoes in. How many spaces do I have? Well, one, two, three, four, five there. Six, seven. Plus another nine. Seven plus nine is 16. So if I put another eight tomatoes in to the seed maker, I could just make seeds to plant. Hello, you. Love you. You smell like sunshine. Beautiful dog. Probably time to milk my cow again as well. I'm so happy I'm getting a chick though. How good is that? Faith in a pretty good mood. Until I wake her up and milk her. I'm sorry. Milking time. Okay, so I'm gonna brush you as well just to make up for it. And then we're going to put everybody away. I'm going to go and brush my little sheep as well. There we go, Mona. Right. Everyone away! Chickens away! Door goes away, but you can go away yourself. Um, and let's see if I want to order any animals or anything, or any feed, maybe. I think I've got a couple of fodder pluses. I think that's going to be it. I can order breeding as well. So I could. But she's going to have... Um, you get 20 days worth of milk. 
So it'd probably be worth me waiting until autumn to breed Faith. And by then I may have another cow, hopefully. So I'm going to get that nice extra milk until then, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Alright. You know what I haven't done today? I haven't been to see Nina. I would like to do that. I don't know whether the seed maker is um, is all you get from Daryl. Oh, there's Nina. So I don't know whether that's why people were telling me to like, give him fish and stuff. Or whether I need to do more and whether more will be coming from him. I don't know. We'll see. Good evening. My, that sure is nice. You're giving it to me? Of course I am. Thank you. It's ever so nice of you. I might give Gary an aromatic herb today as well. Because I have one. Hello. Is that supposed to be a gift? Hey, hey that's always a shoe with me. It's all yours. Thanks a bunch. Wonder how good it is. I'm all a flutter just thinking about it. Okay, so we've got that. I just need to make two turnips for all of my bits and bobs. So that's not too bad. I still haven't made it out of the valley though. There's always too much to do. Gustavo, would you like a flower? Nice find. Oh, you don't want a flower. Do you want this one? Also a nice find. Did I maybe already give you a flower today? Possibly. Possibly I already did. It's a long day. It's been a really long day. Um, Just go check. Are my horses in here? I don't know where my horse went. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to put some fodder down as well. Yeah, that's right. Just stay there. I always seem to take out two fodder when I only sometimes mean to take out one, but never mind. So today we got a horse. We got a blue feather. We got a cut team with Cecilia. We got a fer our first fertilized egg to put in the incubator. We got new seeds. We got the seed maker. Like, everything happened this episode. I'm going to have so much trouble deciding what I want to call this episode and thumbnail it and everything because too much has happened. And then I'll have another one where nothing will happen and I'll be like, what do I even call this? But there we are. That is it for today. Did I... Oh, I, could, I don't even remember if I got a recipe off the sprites today, but if I didn't, I didn't. Um, so I hope... <laughs> I hope that was a fun episode. If it was, then please do uh, leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.